Life can really be tough. Likely we're not telling you anything you don't already know, whether it's family situations, health, finances, just plain trying to keep up. Sometimes getting away to spend time with other Christians and focus solely on hearing from God is just what the doctor needs to order. Well, nearly 400 women had just such an opportunity at this year's Women for God conference in Finley. Jennifer was there as well and has more in this OIO in the Community package. Again, there was this song. There was this song that I continued to hear, and I didn't know who sang it. I didn't know where I heard it, but there was this song that just kept speaking to me, and it said, All I want is just to know you, Jesus, and I long just to hear your voice because your presence is all I want. And so this song became my anthem all week long. That's Marie Monville, and the song she's talking about is one that was used in her first husband's funeral. It was back in 2006, an unexpected day, when Marie's husband, Charles Roberts, entered an Amish schoolhouse in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, shooting 10 schoolgirls. Five of them died. You may remember the story from the news and how the Amish community showed forgiveness. But still, how could life move on for Marie? Monville was one of two keynote speakers for the 2015 Women for God Conference at Weinbrenner Seminary, now remarried with a captivating message that even in the most difficult times, God is there, God is carrying, God has not forgotten you. The Women for God National Women's Conference is an annual event with this year's theme, 4D Love. More than 400 women from all across the country gathered for one weekend to stop and ponder the reality of God's love for us in all situations. We had a theme this year of God's love being four-dimensional. So out of Ephesians 3, it talks about the height, the width, the length, the depth of God's love. And this year in particular, we were focusing on different sessions, speakers, tangible things that would help women connect to knowing the fullness, the immeasurable love God has for us. Ohio, Pennsylvania, California, Oklahoma, Maryland, Illinois, and Indiana. Just a few of the states represented at this event, which organizers plan with multiple generations in mind. Speakers, breakout sessions, worship, and more. This year's conference included an art auction, a prayer walk, and an opportunity to assemble supply kits for Haitian women. But it is so important to be able to hit that pause button, um, to be able to say, you know, I need to spend that time with God and with other women in fellowship that is unlike any other opportunities that I get during the year. Smiles, tears, coming together to pray for one another. A safe environment filled with understanding, not judgment. I always feel like time just stops when we're in this building um, and that, you know, we can do life together and we can grow and we can learn and we can cry and we can feel um, in ways that outside these walls we're just not really able to. Or if we are, people say, well, just get over it. Or, you know, can't you, can't you just stop that? Here it's okay. And while this is a conference put on by the Churches of God denomination, it opens its doors to women of all denominational backgrounds. Plans for the 2016 event should be announced by September. You know, next year we're hoping to move into the topic of dreaming big. And Marie, our speaker this time, has been already alluding to that. So if we know the fullness of God's love, that helps us be able to get past our current search situation and have those big dreams to pray for things that we know only He can orchestrate in our lives.